Well, there it is. Uh, for you, uh, you astute folks, you'll notice that the old stuff is still here. Uh, uh, Brother Rich stopped by last night and uh, picked up the booster plate that I made him for his RS Honda. It goes underneath the cylinder to jack the cylinder up uh, where it needs to be to give us the uh, the port timing and, and the uh, squish and volume in the head that we need. And um, in the process, we realized looking at notes and stuff, maybe a head needs to get cut. So. I, I got away from what I was doing and looking for Honda parts in the cabinet down here. And when I got back to doing what I was doing, uh, I started taping and papering things off and primed and painted it and realized I hadn't welded the the, the, the gusseted tabs on or uh, put in. I mean, these, the tabs later would be no problem, but it was already painted. <laughs> you know, and I'm not going to tear it all up. But everything happens for a reason, right? I'm a Christian guy. I believe everything happens for a reason. So uh, if this radiator back here does its job at Grattan, we're going to eliminate this radiator anyway. And th these here are just to stabilize this whole front bit so the radiator doesn't bounce. Um, that's all that's for. All this stabilization here and this here is just because the radiator is up there. So... Um, you know, back when we had this uh, this this bit of front porch that was still on there, you see it's got a Zeus fastener there. It actually held up the front of this here. The radiator sat on top of this piece of frame on an angle, and none of that, you know, with us having water cooling trouble, we wanted to get the radiator right down on the floor tray uh, and, and the air going right into it. So there you go. Uh, there's the bumper. Uh, it, you know, I mean, look at this. Um, you, you This is what you're looking for. You can turn these bolts without any issue at all, right? So there's no binding. There's nothing holding you up there. Everything lined up perfectly. So uh, uh, again, I can't say it enough. Ed McGlone, Jaguar Carts, Lawrenceville, Georgia. He'll bend you up a winner. <laughs> Thanks, Ed. I appreciate it, buddy. We put the nose back on and put all the floor tray Zeus's in and then started to locate these I had to adjust you know to get them because uh, we left them all kind of loose the only alteration we had to do was uh, with this one here we had to, the hole that goes through both of these pieces I had, to, I had to mark it and hold it together and then slot that and move the whole apparatus up about eh, about three-eighths of an inch quarter inch uh, not much but it had the whole thing had to come up just a little bit so um, not bad not a bad gig. Um, looks good. We had obviously had all the pedals and everything off of this uh, floor tray off when we did all this work. Um, and uh, the, the, that paint, touch-up paint up in the front doesn't have the sparkles in it, but uh, it looks pretty good. Pretty good job. So we're happy. We'll, uh, we'll go ahead and at this point we'll drain the water out of it. And uh, we're, we're going to take the top end of the motor off just to check. Um, it's really only got about 15 laps on it from Gingerman last fall, from being completely fresh, new Nicosil, new piston, new reeds, new clutch. That motor was all new, new, new. So um, just just to be sure, just to check it out, we'll go through the carburetor, clean everything up real good. It's sad all winter. Um, get the right standard jetting in it for for starting off, uh, and uh, and go from there. That's it. Um, Pretty much uh, down downhill from here. There's the uh, there tube I was telling you about. I don't know if I showed you all that with it in place and everything, the fresh air supply. So uh, yeah, looking good. I think we're just gonna put a little Velcro on this thing and a little Velcro on the back of this here. Maybe a little piece of rubber or something underneath uh, on top of the fuel pump, and it'll just sit. It'll just sit in there. We we won't even have to put any tape on it. It's pretty snug. So um, that's it from RPM headquarters. Uh, Another episode of uh, Out in the Garage with Big Daddy. Love y'all. We'll talk to you later. Godspeed. God bless. We'll see y'all at Granton.